everything! New Radical video dropped! So what he's seeing here is a fan remake of Sonic and Secret Rings titled Project Read Nation. And this came out out of the blue. I haven't heard about this until a friend. And here's the game itself. So like one huge change that makes it overall better is that like the controls are completely revamped. Like if you play Sonic and Secret Rings on the Wii, you know that will like restrict the Wii a motion control game like you only had to use the Wii mode sideways and like literally like the controls in that game was trash let's be real with you like that was the one thing that hold secret rings back by a ton like i mean like because the story is like personally like the story is good and like the presentation is pretty good it's just the one thing like and the concept is like pretty good too but like the one thing that hold this one back by a lot is like the controls the controls are like literally the worst part about the game and it sucks because like the gameplay is like really a most important part of any video game and obviously you can play this game with the like controller and obviously you can play this game with the controller like on emulator but like you can tell like when you play a controller like it was mainly like primary a motion control based game if they allow you to like play with the nunchuck or the game controller like and then that game would have been like a bit better though but like at the same time like they was at least like around the time the Wii was new so like they gotta you know focus on that uh, motion control gimmick basically and it's weird too because like in the party mode secret rings like they let you use the game controller but not in the main story which is like so weird but hey we live in a world where we actually have a remake of secret rings where you actually play the controller so it's pretty cool and like sonic can like literally move instead of like up and down left and right it's just so cool it's just so cool. Like, Secret Rings have, like... The concept of the storybook game is just so cool. Like, I enjoy Black Knight a little bit. I mean, it's not the greatest game, but, like, it has the best, um... Characterization of Sonic we've ever seen. Like, that literally were Sonic peak as a character. Like, Unleash and Cut, like, Black Knight were literally, like, the peak of Sonic. As a character. I just love it. But, like, the concept, like, in the settings of, like, the storybook game is just so cool. Like, you have, like, Sonic in the... Arabian Nights and like you have Sonic like in a King Arthur setting like one thing that was pretty cool is that like King Arthur was like really the villain because like in most like King Arthur stories like it was literally like you know he was like supposed to be like the, you know in the good side basically but like here you know since there's Sonic as the hero you know the King Arthur is like literally the villain I found like a very cool concept and oh shoot okay time break I forgot about these moves actually too I think it's the only one I have currently but like controls are pretty good. Like, it's just so good. Like I mean, then again, like Secret Rings and Black Knight, they have like really good, like really good presentation and constant theme, like themes of it. Like I wish you got more like storybook games, but unfortunately, since like the reception of like the two games weren't that well received, I mean, it's so well though. I mean, then again, like it's on the Wii, and like every Sonic game on the Wii was a huge mega hit. Like heck, like Unleash Wii sold more than the HD Unleash. I'm not joking, look it up. Like, every game was a huge mega hit. Which is pretty cool. But, you know, you know Sega, like, they don't, don't care about, like, sales. They care about, like, reviews all the time. I'm like, yeah. So, like, literally, if they, like, it was rated bad, and my Sega would just literally, like, blacklist that game entirely. Alright, I remember, like, this, actually. It's, like, probably one of the most, like, forgettable power-ups in the game, honestly. Like... I don't recall a single time was actually useful, but then again, it's been a minute since I've played Secret Ring, so yeah. And there, there you go. End the sage. And I got a bronze medal. So like, basically, here you have um, metal, bronze, and gold. I'm not gonna get for that though. I'll probably go for the sage one more time though, at near the end of the video. And here's our special challenge. So you had to break five jars, which is actually pretty easy. But I don't remember this type of setting actually. I don't mean. It's been a minute since I've played Secret Rings, like. Fully, so I uh, can't recall though. I mean, I know there was like a mission you had to like avoid bases, so like, I mean, yeah, probably. But yeah, it's pretty cool. It'd be cool to like, see these games ported to Switch though, because like, given how Nintendo did with um, Mario Galaxy and Skyward Sword on the Switch, like, how to make them like Joy Con compatible and like also use controller too, like, they can do the same with Secret Rings, like. Not only use like Joy Cons, but also like use the controller. Like those will probably make the game even better too. Oh my God, the cutscenes like here 
really looks so identical to the original. Like, it's crazy. Sonic fans are way too talented. Now I forgot how this boss works. Then again, it's been the minute Sonic's played Secret. I mean, I, last time I played the game was through that party mode uh, video I did, which is pretty fun, actually. Okay. Understood the assignment now. Alright, so be careful here. But yeah, it'd be cool like, seeing them like on Switch. But yeah, it'd be pretty cool to see them like on Switch. You know, with like Joy-Con and like Pro Control compatibility. Like, it should be so cool. But... I don't see them happening because, you know, it's like a, they want to forget those games even existed. And like, Black Knight is actually like a decent game. I mean, it's not like one of the best games, but like... It's still a really solid game. Like, I mean... The controls are improved over Secret Rings, and like, I mean, oh shoot. I thought I said, yeah, I got to the whole um, boss again. Yikes. But like, what's it called? Like, Black Knight, like, you know, you, you get hit control Sonic with analog stick, which is pretty cool. I mean, you got Nunchuck too, but like, I mean, swing the Wii Sword, like, the Wii around, like, remote around, like, is kind of be a bit, uh. But yeah, Black Knight's a pretty good game, though, but like, I do admit though that like swinging with the Wii mode could be a bit tiring at times. Oh yeah, Black Knight's a pretty solid game. I mean, it's not like one of the greatest games of all time. I, mean, I used to be my favorite actually, but like over time, you know, like we played many Sonic games and it was like, yeah, this kind of went down a bit. I mean, like the game is so fun though, but like you know, swing on Wii mode could be a bit tiring sometimes though too. But like I do admit though, like, it has the best like. Again, the best characterization of Sonic we've ever seen in uh, game form. It's so cool. It's crazy to go from Black Knight and then Colors in terms of character for Sonic. Like, it's just like, how do you go from a downgrade like that? I mean, I love Colors though. I mean, the story's alright, but like, going from Black Knight to Colors was just was such a, like, a massive downgrade. Okay. Now I know how to do this. Cool. Okay. Perfect. Okay, cool. Nice. I understood the assignment already. Pretty cool. Okay. Ooh, cool. Nice. He is defeated. Once and for all. <laughs> and as I promised, we are visiting this stage one more time. I forgot about the slide, actually, too. I... Forgot to give them a move in Secret Rings. But yeah, like Secret Rings, like, I mean, like, presentation, story, voice acting is so good. But, like, the overall, like, gameplay is just, like, really hold it back. Like, but it'll be cool to see, like, more storybook games. Like, you know, I remember they just made a poll, like, a long, long time ago that, like, to see what they want for the next storybook game. Like, I think it was, like, something about the, um, Egyptian gods or something like that, and like they also like plant something like Western Sonic or like a horror like Sonic, which would be that would be pretty dope actually. Like a horror like a noir like or like horror Sonic game would be pretty cool actually. But despite them like selling pretty well, and like Sega is so like um, worried about reviews, basically, yeah, literally never saw the light of day. But yeah, like, literally, like, I'm so excited for the project, like, for, like, but yeah, I'm, like, more excited for, like, um, how this project will go, like, this is so cool. Like, I remember, like, um, there was a, um, mod for PO6 that, like, had, um, one of the stages of Secret Rings with the Secret Ring Sonic, uh, Model 2, like, that was just so cool. But this is just a full-on, like, fan remake of the game, like, this could be the next, like, PO6, but then again, like, most Sonic fan games just don't, like, um... They usually just stay in, like, demo state for a while, but... Hopefully one day, I mean, given how, like, the 3D fan games take a while to do... Hopefully one day, like, this, uh... Gets completed. Because, like, literally my favorite video game of all time is, like, literally PO6. I'm not even joking, that's, like, literally a fan game. But it's like actually my favorite game of all time, surprisingly. Like if you were to actually like um show like like show people this gameplay, 
they will think there's some secret rings, but it's actually like literally a fan remake of the game. Like it's just crazy. Like Sonic fans are way too talented. That's why I love the community so much. That's why I love the community so much. Like they're just like the Sonic community. Like I mean, sure, like there's some like you know crazy stuff about the community, but like one thing you gotta appreciate is like literally the like the like the people that make the fan games, fan animations, like mod all that stuff too like they're insanely talented like i gotta get props to that too like literally like the sonic community is like not that bad as you think it is i mean yeah i got like the other side but like the people that made like a lot of like the um like fan like work is like really damn impressive i gotta get props to that and look at that end the stage